Okay, let me get on. E Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Horses. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Horses, which has spent most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt... Geralt? Geralt. 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 Can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, press X. Um, should we say hello? Ah, uh, I suppose. Because Hi. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they Gallop. prevent epidemics. Chris, mm. left shift. Did he know they eat the living as well? Oh, yeah. No. Horse stamina. Really upset him too. Kenta, this hold theory left collapsed. So, do you see on the mini map there's like little leaves around? I'm assuming that's like herbs. Yeah, resources and stuff. And there's like little. I suppose that means down, down the bank a little bit. Come on. Go. So you have to hold it. Or it's yeah. Not exactly hey. Going our way. Hanged people. We have a side. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's place. Shit, they're hanging people over the, the place. Borders, soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. I feel like. So right now, Izz is sitting at my computer playing this, and I'm on the couch, like several meters away, watching, because we were having issues with our uh, television. Um, and I just feel like this princess is just like, play <laughs> for me! It's nice, eh? <laughs> Oh, Play for me, minion. <laughs> we going? Help me! Help! It's a trap. A tra -tra. Oh, that Possibly looks like a wheel, maybe. Oh, he's getting right in there. Look at that. Oh no! It's like a um. What are they called? Okay. Yeah. Do I not get to kill it? I think you could right now. Probably not, but the. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. I can't remember how this goes. Let me fight it. Oh, oh taking a whole horse. Fine, the horse is already dead. I don't want it anyway. <laughs> I don't want your stupid dead horse. <laughs> yeah, you keep it. Bandage it up, dude. You'll be fun. fine. Yeah. Come out. Dirty griffin claws. Probably needs to clean it first. That guy looks a little bit dazed. Wouldn't you be? Mm. Oh, Gosh, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> You'd... You'd like a reward, No, I we just happened upon you, it's fine. Oh, do you see that, like, deer in the background? Yeah, freaking out. <laughs> I, I don't want anything. No, so, you, I think they'll explain it at some point, but witches have this thing of, like, they don't, they don't do good without pay. Oh, they don't. But, um, say what you want, you know, like, the game will... Whatever. I don't really care. Like we were here anyway. He didn't ask us to help him. So nah. Like I, I think I think like later on we will. They'll like we'll get jobs. That's different. And like that's when you're like yeah you de you damn well should pay me because I'm doing something because you needed you asked for help. Yeah, it's. Uh, but this is just like we just stumbled upon it. Yeah, I think this is a different scenario. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. Did I continue to look real shitty at us? Heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. <laughs> okay. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Why not? You can tell us. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Handy. Not a bad idea. 
Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. I like the design of our character, actually. Yes, I do too. Like, he's very, um... I think, like, if you see him just, like, in a trailer, he look, doesn't look particularly interesting. But once he's, like, talking about stuff... Went on a road, hold left shift, and you should just follow the path. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> this is not working very well. <laughs> but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Is okay. it working, or are you having to steer? I'm staring. Um, populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked at what, that square symbol on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witches and local happenings. Not so fast, Roach. Oh, I didn't mean to get off. Yeah, I'll get off. It's fine. Can I? Is it considered stealing if I take the plant? Is it? No, I don't think so. Okay. You're like waiting for someone to attack you. It's like in Skyrim, and people are like, "You stole my fucking cabbages," and then they <laughs> all fucking murder you, and you're like, "Ah!" <laughs> you like, went wildly out of control. <laughs> you're like, I didn't know they belonged to anybody. <laughs> Oh, I take the. I feel like these are people's stuff. Alright, that's fine. Oh. I think it's only if stuff is like in someone's house. Okay, good. But. And even then, like, no one sees you doing it. You don't get in trouble. Oh, that's great. I was telling you how I was playing um, Divinity A eh? and like, oh, got in just like so much trouble. Stealing and like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it nearly hindered our ability to finish the whole thing. <laughs> Everybody hates you. Yeah, they were so angry. Rude, bro. Rude. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms. The Tamerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. Oh, they've got them right in the middle of this some sort Tameria of... no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Are we that unusual? Yeah, real unusual. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Well, then you can leave. We didn't. We don't want to drink with you. Did we ask to sit at your table? No, we didn't. Beg your you pardon smell bad. For those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Nearly got an eek. Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? I like how, like, we didn't actually say we saved him. So, like, it could have just been, like, we wandered past him and he had already... Like, the griffin had already left, but she was like, food and drink on the house. And we're yeah. like, oh, sure. Is there a contract on the griffin? Well, okay, hang on. Well, uh, so you may not be able to see the options from there. So we can, the first thing is telling us about dialogue shops. Options marked money bags will be the shop panel. Okay. Um, on the right-hand side, we I have... I can read the, the words. I just couldn't read the, the tooltip stuff. Great. Now, number two has the money bags next to it. Should we... I think the money bags will always be available to her, to us. <laughs> so should we ask the other two questions, the three yeah. and four? Yeah. Uh, one, looking for the woman. 
I think that's, as we were saying, is like the completion thing. Right. Okay. So let's go for three and four. Yeah. Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Right. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. What? Is there a horse in the window? Yeah, I don't Did know. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, so do we want to... No, do we want to ask about money? Sure. Show me what you got behind the counter. Okay. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Double click an item to purchase it. Press escape to close the shop panel. Uh, so the left is, is that us? Yeah. How much money do we have? We've got 250 coins. How much are those cards that are along the top? 20 coins. So that's decoy, Gwent card. Yeah. Um, catapult, Gwent card. Uh-huh. Um. What are the other ones? Blue Stripes Commando. Uh-huh. Crinford Reavers Dragon Hunter. Uh-huh. And Faultist. Um, so they're all... We should at least get that decoy card, and we can come back for the others later if okay. we, um, have more money. Okay. The, there's two that were 50, and then three that were 20, and we just bought one of the 20 ones. Look at this ham pie. Oh, it's a dumpling. Ham pie! <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's where you went first off. I want a ham pie. Um, I'm going to get a ham pie. Yeah, do it. I support you. Uh, like, not that many ham pies. <laughs> like, three, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I really want to get those Gwent cards, but I also, we probably can't just spend money. Not right now? Uh, yeah. Okay. So Gwent, uh, did you ever see? Because I sometimes had that that let's play running when you came over. Did you ever mm, see Gwent happening? It's no. a card game, uh, and it's like oh yes, it's like each of your cards has a certain number of points, and you have to have more points than the enemy in order to win the round, essentially. But right. they also have like abilities and stuff, so it's a little bit like Hearthstone. Okay. Um. But a bit simpler. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, no, so, not right now though. What's yeah. this? M Mahakaman spirit alchemy ingredient. Okay. Well, let's let's get out of here. And tell us about the lady. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And. Uh, Strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I like that he says that as I've if... I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially... Yeah, like their horse. This one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks. Okay, dialogue, ending conversations. Dialogue options marked with the speech bubble with an X in it will end the conversation. Okay. That helps. It does help. Thanks for everything. So maybe just the yellow ones are like quest related and the other ones are just, I really want to know what the fuck is going on with that, that horse. cat. Oh no, I was going to, yeah, that horse, that cat as well. It's sort of like slid across the floor. Also, she said food and drink was on the house, but she made me pay for those ham pies. That's true. Help you bandage that up. Please. Rude. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not We're witches. draw any attention. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. I think. Black one's been out measuring the field. Assuming you Let won't measure. attract attention right, is a little bit foolhardy. Yeah. Drommel, At the top left, it says, oh, "What's he saying?" Why are they marking out them lines, eh? I was talking to us about Gwent cards. 
Can we look at our inventory yet? Uh, what's the short? Is it I? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's interesting because the interface has been updated since I watched someone doing a Let's Play, so a lot of the stuff I'm like, ooh, that's so, different. It says inventory. Here are your currently equipped items. Travel bag. Here are other items currently in your possession. Inventory tabs. Select a tab to show the items of that type. Stats. Here you'll find information about your most important character statistics. Equipping items. To equip an item, drag it from your bag to an appropriate slot or double click on it. Inventory tabs. The tab shows crafting components and alchemy ingredients. The next inventory tab says this tab shows quest items and all items which fit in no other categories. This is like misc. <laughs> <laughs> this tab shows food and items for roach. I have to say it like that because it was like in yellow. Oh, okay. It was like roach. important. Roach. Yeah. This tab shows oils, potions, and bombs. And this tab shows weapons and armor. It's funny because there's an actual character whose name is like R O A C H, like Roche. Oh. But like, depending on how you chose to pronounce that, it could be the same, and it's just kind of like really <laughs> disorientating. Yeah. <laughs> you can toggle between large and small items by pressing the middle mouse button. Okay. You can see how a given item will look on Girl. Just press X. Okay. Using the preview option, you can see how items will look which you cannot yet equip. Oh, okay. To choose the order in which items will be shown, press F. To see your character's statistics, hold C or press C to go to the statistics panel. You have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you must first equip it. Click on the usable items tab. Drag a potion to one of the consumable slots. This is Wolven Hour Potion. Temporarily lowers the required level of all items by two. <clears throat> or Tawny Owl Potion. Uh, 20 out of 100 toxicity. Yeah, okay. So how the toxicity works, and it'll probably tell us eventually, but it's like you, the potions you're consuming are like poison, right? Uh. So you can only consume so many before you become poisoned, essentially. Right. And you can see in the bottom... So I can um, have five of these. Right. That our toxicity is currently at zero. Yeah. And the more we consume, the higher that would go. Okay, until good. eventually we were actually taking damage for how many potions we'd consumed. Awesome. Uh, this one um, has 5% stamina regeneration in combat. 30, cents dura 30, cents, 30 seconds duration. That one can go here. Cool. Now you can use this potion during gameplay. Press R to activate the potion in the first slot, or F to activate the potion in the second slot. That's confusing. This is the same yeah. buttons you use for food, so how do you differentiate between those? How do you? <laughs> <laughs> this is face. She was just like so unimpressed. We really need to get the controller situation sorted out. We do. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is the Yennefer's letter. Ooh. Okay. So we can read that. We can read about the unicorn. Unifer's letter. Dear friend, forgive me for not asking about your health or how you have been these last years. Time is very short. I have important news. We must meet, and soon. Ride to Willoughby, near Visma, and don't spare the horses. While I do eagerly await our reunion, I won't be able to wait eagerly or otherwise for very long. Your dear friend, Yennefer. P.S. I still have the unicorn. Okay. Books and scrolls. Use A and D to switch between unread books and scrolls. Once read, they are added to the books panel in the glossary. Okay. And in this one, we've got crafting materials. We've got venom extract. We've got all sorts. We've got ghoul's blood. We have blowball. <laughs> which looks just like dandelions. Cool. I'm done here. Okay. Do we... Okay, this is what I was looking for. Where is the, um, maybe it's under glossary? Glossary has the beast dairy. Click on the, oh yeah. What I'm interested in though is, or you can read that if you want. 
says, um, entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for best how to fight, how to fight them. So on the right here we have griffins. I, half eagle, half tomcat, just like on the Lord's crest. Scepter someone was carrying me dead cow instead of a scepter. Griffin attack witness, name unknown. <laughs> griffins were once only found high in the mountains where they would hunt marmots and wild goats. When humans encroached on their lands, however, griffins soon discovered a new source of much more plentiful and easier caught prey. Cows, sheep and shepherds. Though still wary of main roads and towns where folk with the means to hire a witcher are likely to dwell... Those half-eagle, half-wildcat creatures have gone from rarities to often-counted pests known throughout the northern realms. Mm. Especially hated are the subspecies known as royal griffins and arch griffins. Cool. Cool. What I'm looking for in some of these menus somewhere is the... There's like a, a tab somewhere or something that has uh, like the people that you've met and information about them. Okay. Because I want to find the one on Yennefer so that you can read it so that you know what the fuck is well, going glossary on. Glossary characters? Characters? There we cool. go. Uh, Yennefer of Vingerberg. Vingerberg? The Witcher first met the Ravenhead Sorceress a good 20 years back. Their friendship and the feelings between them were born of a common adventure involving a genie and, w- and a wish granted to, to Geralt that intertwined their felt fates inextricably. In the time since then, their relationship had, however, been quite stormy. Rich in ups and downs, crises and breakups, Geralt and Yennefer's love provides irrefutable proof of the thesis that opposites attract. Hmm. A few years ago, Geralt and Yennefer had, after a long separation full of adventures for them both, got them back together again. Their moment of repose was interrupted by the wild hunt which took Yennefer captive. The witcher set out at once to save her but lost his memory while doing so. When he finally recovered it, he immediately set off once more on his quest to find his beloved sorceress. Right. So, yeah. That's that's backstory. Like, he and Yennefer have been in love, but they haven't been together forever. He lost his memory. I think that's the second game? I'm not 100% right. sure on that. He lost his memory, and while he had, his, had lost his memory, he fell in love with another lady called Triss. And they were together for a while. Uh, but then he got his memory back, and presumably got back together with Yennefer right. at some point after that. My knowledge of this game comes from watching someone else play, like trying to piece together things that happened in previous games from things like this, and also fan fiction. So right, okay, I don't know so whether, whether, whether the fan fiction is remotely correct or if people are just making shit up. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look at ours as well. Yeah. Geralt of Rivia. Rivia? Rivia, yeah. Many cannot fathom the friendship Geralt of Rivia and I, Dandelion, have shared all these years. When we first began breaking bread together, spiteful tongues said he'd be better off cutting my throat and dumping my body in a hollow tree <laughs> before I provoked someone else into doing the same to us both. Those individuals spoke out of pure jealousy, for Geralt was my dearest friend, a fact which he gave ample evidence of on numerous occasions. I could say a great deal about that world-famous monster hunter, the man known in elder speech as Gwynblild, or in our younger yet no less noble tongue as the White Wolf. For Geralt of Rivia is a truly exceptional individual. A brief encounter might tempt one to label him a mere swinger of swords, a simple monster catcher, a rough and tumble, tumble practitioner of a dirty trade. But peer closer and you will soon discover he is a man of unplumbed depths, unique <laughs> views, and vast world-spanning experience. Well, it sounds like he never I'll has plumbed, plumbed his, his depths. depths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the surface. I'm glad that, like, both our minds went there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't say that without someone having something to react to it, yeah. right? On the surface, he is introverted, tight-lipped, one might even say gruff, but underneath lies an overflowing sea of goodwill, good humour, and an honest readiness to help his friends, be it with a bit of sound advice or the masterful application of his blade. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at Momo and I was like, was that like, ah, masterful three. application of his blade, ah? And she was like, what? Come on. <laughs> I was just totally not paying attention, so I was like, what the fuck are you on about? Setting aside comes with some false modesty. I can say that I know his story better than any man alive. I was with him through hard times and good, helping with wise advice, warm words, 
and Razor Wit. As a result, I am a vital part of his story, both in its earlier and present portions. It is thus my duty to continue my chronicle and, for the benefit of future generations, put in writing the next chapter of his deeds and exploits. So, Dandelion looks like such a fop. <laughs> okay, he is a fop. You okay, great. Don't read the thing, but just, just open it up so that you can see him. Uh, oh, yes, it's great. He's like a playwright. He's and a he minstrel. He's, yeah, he thinks he's the bee's knees. Um, yeah. He's full of ego. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I just want to have a quick... Um, I think we should read out Cyrillus. Yeah, she's pretty important. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Renon? Renon? Rhiannon? Sure, whatever. Yeah, good. What can I possibly say about her? That we call her Surrey for short. That she was born in 1251. That she has ashen hair and a scar on her cheek. All true, and that's the Cyrilla I know best. The one I first laid eyes upon those many years ago. And the one who seemed thoroughly, well, not ordinary, but certainly not as extraordinary as she is, as she in fact is. For Cyrilla is also a highly skilled witcher, heiress to several thrones and last bearer of the elder blood, a powerful source endowed with exceptional magic talent, and the lady of time and space. Her hair colour and date of birth seem rather incidental now, don't they? Do they? Well, because she's all those other things as well. Okay. I... Could also tell you she is Geralt's adopted daughter, but that would be a gross simplification. Siri is much more. She is his destiny, his unexpected child, someone bound to the Witcher by fate's most inextricably tan- tangled fetters. Following age-old Witcher tradition, Geralt took Siri to care. How do you say this? Care Morin. Sure. When she came into his care, then he and Vesma taught her in the ways of professional monsters of the professional monster slayer. It was then that her magic talents were first revealed and they discovered she was a source. Ciri's gift proved a curse as well. Because of it, she would one day have to hide from the entire world, even Geralt. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. I'm just going to see what they look like. Okay. Bam. Cool. So many things. So many things. If I push this button, I get to run. There are four factions. What happened to the horse? Shit. Aww. These guys look angry. Done drinking. Didn't have a drink, actually. Mm-hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <sighs> like, are you really going to pick a fight with a guy in, like, full chain mail and two swords? Who you know has been training to fight probably his whole life. Like, really? Yeah. But also, okay, so, so there's dialogue, axie. Options marked with that triangle sign will make use of the axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. This is like, these are not the droids you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, fully. Yeah. Exactly. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Okay. Uh, and so our options are. I think we should use use it when we can. I think so too. Because you get XP for it. Oh, okay, cool. Let's, let's go there. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Oh my gosh. Of course no. No, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him. What? Do it to everybody. Time oh. to smash it and bang it. Aw, you have to fight them by hand? It's bullshit. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill them. Don't worry, it's fine. Pretty much always when you are um, punching instead of using your sword. Ow. Uh, you, you can still block. Yeah, you do. You're good. Um, Those horses. You're just, you'll just um, knock them out rather than kill them. Okay, good. Is this what they meant about, like, not attracting any attention? <laughs> I have to point out, this is not my fault. It's totally not your fault. You were set upon. I, I was set upon. The goose! Hello, goose! Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, goose! <laughs> game saves. Your game state will automatically save... Be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Yeah. So you, is that a hint? I, I'm going to talk to this goose. <laughs> You're going to talk to the goose? Shh, it's fine. Can you kill it? Can you, like, punch it? Oh! Maybe you'll get a trouble. Can I put that away? How do I put that away? C. C puts it away. Okay. Uh, the, There's people screaming. Yeah, people, people screaming. Are screaming. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so... <laughs> that's, I think that's all we got time for. I'm just gonna go, like, steal some bushes. <laughs> what was that? Sorry? <laughs> I'm gonna go steal some bushes. Guys, <laughs> guys, you should definitely steal all the bushes. Just, just rustle around in the bushes. Just take everything. Probably no one will care. Probably. If they do, you can beat them up. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. That's how this works, right? Let me in. Piggies! Let me in. Pig friend! Ooh. Be my pig friend. Be my pig friend. I like that the blossom actually, blossoms actually come off there when you... Um, can I climb shit? You can. How do I... Uh, well, I mean, that you can't climb onto something and there's like a roof directly above your head. Ah, uh, well, but I thought I maybe I could get onto the roof. <gasps> Sorry, lady. If you like hold like space Sim. and like W to like forward when oh, you're coming towards something. I'm really enjoying stealing all these bushes. Right. Yeah. Need it. Need it all. Give me, give me, you. give me that. Any tidings from Vizima? Yeah. What about this? Give me that. What's the what's the flower that you're getting off of those? Um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention, I just wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the board. But I think that's all we've got time for. Okay. We've, we've, we've delved a bit more into the interface. Um, you punch somebody to death. I punched two people to death. <laughs> well, possibly just until they lay down and didn't get back up again. I frightened the villagers, I chased a ghost. Um, this is all good stuff. This is a great way to start the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, join us next time for more goose chasing and villager punching, and I guess. And rustling through some bushes. Yeah, stealing all the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See you next time.